Hello there, I'm Artistic Gamer 7 and I'm back with some more Sims for the Eevee family and I'm still with Umbreon and Miss Drevis. Umbreon's still at work, but the reason why I stopped it is because I've actually never seen the Roomba actually clean up a mess before. Because every time I have had it at a house and it's actually turned on, or whatever you call these things, what are they calling them in Sims? I don't know what they're calling them in Sims. But either way, I've never seen it actually try to clean up a mess before because my Sims always end up cleaning it up before the Roomba even gets going. So I want to see, I don't know, this is a puddle, it's a pee puddle, I don't know if that's going to make a difference. I'm going to see if it, oh, oh, look at it go, it's clean, and it's off, oh, cat's running. I did actually put a litter box in every single, it's on, there's one on every floor, so if she can't find a litter box to actually, oh, the one down here is going off too. Look at it. <laughs> Thanks, Dante. And the Roomba is off to the room that no one uses. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> that room ain't gonna be dirty. No one lives there yet. Oh, she went to go paint on her own? Oh, thank you, Miss Drevis. Did you actually get... Oh, you've only got 25% of reading your books? Uh-uh. Mm -mm. You're gonna go read more books. You're getting promoted on, like, the first day. It's happening. Or we can try. <laughs> it's a problem. Spar? <laughs> yes? I think they are. Who will win? Da -da -da. <laughs> Vinny Honor Mistrevis. Cast your votes now. <laughs> Oh. Well. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Miss Drevis won one. Yay. And that's two out of three. It's a good thing they actually like doing that. <laughs> so that we're not like causing enemies all over the place. They could, they could be, uh, have a little fun and... It's, I think this one is the funniest. One of the funniest ones ever. Where is it at? Where is it? There it is. The coffin. I, I find the coffin one very entertaining. <laughs> but, you know, hey. They're a very young couple living on their own. Things are to happen. But that means we're gonna have to end this game of chess if y'all are gonna actually get off the chess. It's gonna take him forever. Now you can't fall asleep in the coffin, so ha. <laughs> She'll get there before he will. Way before, cause oh, there's a cat. So it's fine. I can fall. She is about to get thirsty again. Oh goodness gracious. Oh, especially walking like that. Um. Mm-hmm. Yep. Hello, Vidion. What the heck are you wearing? It's like, hey, dude. <laughs> I don't think they know each other. I really don't. Technically, Vidion's family doesn't care for the Eevee family necessarily, but I don't think they really, at a glance, don't realize who each other is. <laughs> so, oh well. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's funny. <laughs> and it even has different music, so. But I'm pretty sure everyone. What is the cat? What was the cat up to? Why are you in this room by yourself? I, wish I was gonna tell Umbreon to go to bed after this. Y'all are gonna hit the wall! Goodness gracious. Y'all bust a hole in the wall. It's not my fault. <laughs> Hello, other computer. What is your problem? <laughs> I might should turn those speakers down when I'm recording. Okay. <laughs> the coffin's still floating. She's like, okay, coffin, go down. He's starting to smell, but he's too tired. He's like, yep. 
Q tag. So Umbreon's up. I guess he smelt like so bad that he got up before he actually recovered from his sleep. <laughs> so he's up, but I don't know how long he's gonna be up. But I do want him to invite his family over today for them to get to see the new house and such. So Umbreon has slept a little bit and I have Miss Drevis seeing if he will! He's gonna let her drink! <laughs> I was seeing if he would let her do it. And he did! Well, that's nice of you. So, but it is gonna be soon. It's probably gonna, yeah, it's gonna drain his <laughs> energy that I just got back up. But, um, we're going to call family over, which means Mistrevis is already dressed. Umbreon's gotta change clothes. But, uh, let's invite... Run instant back. Oh, I was like, what the heck is all of this? <laughs> it's for his job. Uh, plan a social event. And Umbreon needs to change clothes. So I'm definitely going to try to mainly play, like, focus on Umbreon talking to people in this one. Because I feel like I've focused on Mischievous a little bit more when it's actually the Eevee series. So, um, whoops. Let's just have it as a house party. I don't- I'll leave it as a prestige event since this particular house has not done one yet. So, we'll do that. The host is going to be me. The guest. I'm gonna wait to click all the other guests before- Okay. Ooh. Okay. Wanna make sure that I get- Why has he, like, his friendship gone down with some of his siblings? I don't- some of the relationships go down a lot faster than I think they should. Well, I have Lynn over, Ellie over, Glaceon. I don't know if I should invite Estelle over. I'm gonna let Mystery was be one just just in case I do need to control someone. Lately the the parties have been going just fine. I feel like where is Leafeon? Yeah, where's Leafeon? Leafeon may be at work, maybe that's why I can't select him. I don't see him, and I'm sure- We'll let Estelle come if she wants to. Why not? I could always invite Kevin over since, you know, but we don't know, um, Caleb, apparently. Apparently we have forgotten Caleb, so. We can't invite- and I guess, you know, we'll have- we'll have our- our mother and our aunt come over as well. Why not? Sure. <laughs> Hopefully they approve of Mistrevis, dear old mother. And uh, we're not going to have- why would it give me Vaporeon as a caterer, but not Flareon? That makes a lot of sense. So we're going to Mixologist and a caterer. And Mistrevis doesn't have- she actually does not have the withered stomach or whatever, so she actually can eat human food, so I don't have to worry about her eating food and getting sick. So, you know, that's cool. That's great. Oh, he changed clothes. Oh, thank you. Oh, wait, are they going to change in party clothes? Because I like the outfit that Mistrevis was in. She changed, didn't she? Oh, no, she didn't. She's still in it. Oh, no, she did. She changed into her party clothes. He, on the other hand, changed into his everyday clothes. Oh, wait. Oh, how? How? He's one of the first ones. And he looks sad again. Why is he always sad? What have we done to this child? Thank him for coming. Yay, he gave him a hug. Why Why is he always said We've built up our relationship with Hal quite a bit. I would like Hal and Mistrevis to start talking, actually. But has anyone else came? <laughs> I just, I think someone else walked in and I didn't really pay attention. I just noticed Hal was sad and I had to fix it. Oh, there's Eva. Right? Eva. Yes, you're Eva, right? And the other one's Eve. Why won't it let me see her name? That's because she's not fully upstairs. Pretty sure that's Eva, though. So Eva's here. It looks like someone's outside. Oh, there's Eve is outside. Uh, anyone? Did anyone sneak by me and go downstairs? Yes, Jolteon went downstairs. Jolteon, what are you doing? Jolteon, why are you down here? So Jolteon's down here. There's Vaporeon coming. A little... Overdressed. She does not look happy. <laughs> she 
She's, for some reason, she's not, like, happy. And there's Espeon and Glaceon. Oh, Glaceon and uh, Mistrevis have the same top, just totally different colors. Ellie's here, but Ellie's playing outside. She looks so cute! A lot of them have not been to this neighborhood in general, so, you know, some of them may be a little like, whoa, what is this place? So this is, this is where Umbreon lives now. So there they go walking in. And Espeon has been wanting to see us for so long. We definitely need to talk to Espeon. She was very, very desperate to talk to Umbreon. So let's just go ahead and ask due date. She isn't pregnant. I think that's because he recently leveled up his mischievous level. <laughs> She must not be pregnant because I don't know who would be with. <laughs> I mean, the, I know the MC command center sometimes makes some of your Sims do things without you realizing, but I don't think it'd go that far. She must not be pregnant. I'm pretty sure that's just the mischievous thing. I don't think you can ask the due date of a Sim. Can you ask the due date of a Sim who is pregnant? I don't know. <gasps> Estelle came. Hey, Estelle. You definitely could tell Estelle has got a slightly different style than Evie because she wasn't raised by Evie, but, you know. <laughs> because there's Evie. Evie seems to be mad. And Sylveon's like, is going through Ellie. So, you know, that's cool. But we actually have all f all four of the of Eve's grandchildren are in one place at one time. For once. And I know Lynn is very fond of um, oh, Peary's are oh, Peary's are caterer or she are mixologist, which either way, oh, she's the caterer. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> oh, Peary, don't do anything crazy, please. <laughs> oh boy, I don't know if this was a good thing. Well, he's coming to talk to Espeon, who has come down here. Oh, she's in the chair. I was like, where is she at? There she is. He's like, hey, I know, <laughs> sorry I haven't got to hang out in a while, just a lot, been a little hectic, you know, I've been, been moving into the house, I think I clicked on Jolteon. <laughs> Give her a hug. Wait, wait, sister. <laughs> and just be like, yeah, man, like, <laughs> it's been a lot going on for me, so, but so glad to see you again. You could, you could not tell that these two technically were twins, though. <laughs> like, if I saw them in real life, I would be like, nah, they're not twins. But, I mean, they are twins. They're just, you know, night and day. I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> Everyone else seems to be up here. People got chips from the bartender, I'm assuming. So I guess Peary hasn't finished the first meal anything. I don't know where Mystery Bus is going. I don't want to play her too much. Oh, people are up here. Why are people up here watching? <laughs> oh, look at these people. Oh, look, the kids were trying to- where did this cake come from? <laughs> what? Wait, <laughs> Peary, why did you fix a cake? <laughs> of course she fixed the cake. And of course Sylveon and Evie are like, CAKE! <laughs> Aww. But how's upstairs? Oh, there's how. How so sad. And there's Estelle. I'm so glad Estelle is sort of entered in the picture now. Oh, oh, the Roomba's the Roomba's loose. The Roomba's loose. <laughs> the Roomba's like there's more people in here than usual. Look at this. Look at even though it is his family, a stranger danger has to be Peary and the bartender. I like how the kids are at the bar eating. Okay, one. Why can not the cake thing been there when the cake was downstairs? Because I'm pretty sure that cake is, like, gone. I'm pretty sure the cake is gone. To have Sims kiss shouldn't be too awful hard since I have, um, Mishkrivas. But at the same time, three times! PDA in front of the family. Oh, there's bowls everywhere. But let's, to play games, play multiplayer game, play Party Frenzy with they pour in Stell and well, Espeon. We'll just go in a diagonal. Why not? Plus those three are down there currently. Well, 
Espion's heading upstairs, but it's fine. Why aren't the others playing with me? Okay. Let me let me hit off this. And play multiplayer game with. Play party frenzy with. With <laughs> Lynn's here. Those those three I see are here. <laughs> oh, Lynn's leaving, and so is Vaporeon. Come on, I just need two of you to at least sit down with me. I got it. I don't know who the third one is playing, unless they're counting Glaceon playing a thing over there. I'm sorry, I can't move the bowl. It won't let me move the bowl. Sorry. They're all wanting to sit and actually join this game, but, um... I'm not gonna get a gold on this. Where's Miss Drevis? She's still talking to Hal. Oh, that's cute. We're not gonna be able to kiss her three times before the time's out. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Umbreon, run. Umbreon, run! Umbreon, run! Umbreon, you failed. <laughs> but we did earn a silver, and, you know, Mistrevis and Hal got to have a talk and such. So, so that was nice. Lynn has walked upstairs just to maybe go. Nope. I feel like, I was saying, I feel like Lynn is close with Umbreon. Yeah. They're good friends. It's probably like her favorite uncle. So, um, but anyway, we, let's ask, oh. Umbreon does not want to listen to me. When there's multiple sims in an area, things get a little, 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 little crazy. Um, now can I ask about, we're going to ask about Hal and maybe Hal moving in. It's up and see how she feels about the situation. It is mainly her house still, even though we have moved in. But so we still want to ask and have a deep conversation. I like how he's pretty cool. So she likes him. That's good. So. Can Hal move in? I think Hal could move in. I think he would be fine moving in. And it would be nice to have Hal and Umbreon close. So now that Umbreon's getting older and more responsible on stuff. So one of these rooms can be Hal's room. Since, you know, there's two ginormous rooms that are empty. Like, he is going to go from... So I'm pretty sure he's living in a house with, like, five other siblings, and one of them is an adult, and three of them are teenagers, I think. So that's, like, four other siblings, actually. But, uh, and then one of them has a kid on top of that, so five other people. And he's stuffed in one of the smaller rooms, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly. So this would be, like, a shock for him. But I, don't, I think it's too late to invite Hal over. Well, I guess we technically need to talk to Ruby about this. Because Ruby technically was his mom. <laughs> well, I mean, is his mom. <laughs> so so let's let's ask Ruby if it will let me talk to her. There she is. Ask Ruby about the whole situation. Like, hey, I know he's living over here, but I'm still going to ask you, is it okay that he moves in with me and my now fiancé? Like, are you okay with this? And Mistrevis is cleaning up. Mistrevis is like, oh, my house is dirty now. They've left everything. Oh, was she asleep? Yeah, she's already asleep. So I'm going to let Umbreon go to sleep before he calls her again. Ha. Okay, so it is heading into morning time and I had her go and harvest all of her plasma flute trees but they need watered and stuff like that but it's starting to get so early in the day but her thirst is like they're going down quickly like it seemed like a drop I don't know what is going on maybe maybe Umbreon's <laughs> plasma does not satisfy her as well as it hopefully would have worked but <laughs> 
it's, it dropped pretty significantly and then I realized she hadn't actually harvest these or anything so I am I had her go harvest them really quick I think she's got like 90 some but um, they're not looking as healthy now like some of them need weeded and a lot of them need some water Perloid's also gone, so I'm sort of trying to watch for when she gets back here so that I can see if she brings a present. Can you call Ruby since it should be early enough? Right now she's mad at us because <laughs> there is bowls everywhere. <laughs> I thought Mistreavis cleaned a lot of them up, but there are still... Oh... Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. Oh no. <laughs> this is this is so bad. Is she cleaning these? Because they're bad. Yeah, it's bad. So, obviously, as you could tell, Ruby was okay with it, and little oh oh my bar's still down here. Oh oh that didn't happen. <laughs> But Ruby was okay with it, and she actually thought it was good. Her Some of her kids only moved out because there was so many of them. Because, you know, she had this crazy phase. <laughs> Which she apologizes for, but, um... But yeah! And she's, like, totally fine with it. She thinks it's sort of a good idea to maybe get out of the house that he is in. But poor little... Freaking... Hal's always sad! Try to cheer him up. And... Friendly. Discuss his interests. Try to make him happy. Say, come on. You're gonna love it here. Don't worry. Everything's fine. Oh, he's gonna go to school. Wait. Remember on? Let him, let him, let him go to, go to, go to, go to, go to, more, yeah. Go to school. Oh, is he sa He's in a bear phase and he's not in his bear form. That's why he's sad. <laughs> That's why he keeps showing up sad because he's not in his bear costume. Oh, we should let him change into his bear costume before he left, but it's fine. It's cool. I think Mistrevis has been cleaning Mistrevis Mistrevis. Yeah, she's been cleaning up. She's like, "Can't stand this. Can't stand this. It's so dirty. I can't nope." <laughs> Now that they have Hal, she definitely needs to be in a job. So, it's it's a good thing that she's working. But, um, we do need to actually fix Hal's room up. I think we'll give him this one right here. Maybe? No. Let's, let's give him this one over here. I don't know why. I changed my mind. Not, they're basically the same exact room, just mirrored. But, we're gonna give him this one. This one right here. So... I'll be back here in a second. Okay, so, um, I, uh, went to go use the bathroom and then had to go put up supper and things like that and got sidetracked in talking and such and I accidentally left, left the game running. Um, um, yeah, so there's that, but, um, <laughs> it is now Sunday morning. I, I was not around for a while, so, because Lynn was invited over after school on Friday, so somehow I've completely lost Saturday. <laughs> Luckily, no one, oh, except for apparently a cat vomited. Is Perline sick? Great. And why does it say mystery? Oh, she's the, she's right there. <laughs> it was like, I don't see her. But other than maybe Parline getting sick, everyone is fine. Train? Really? <laughs> everyone is fine. Other than how... Oh, wait. He's happy now. Train, why are you so loud? Train, stop it. Stop it. But he is, um... Uh, right now, too entranced by the video game. <laughs> but he was sad because he is now... A in not his bear suit 
He was in his bear suit at one point, but he hasn't got back in it ever since he took it off, but yet he's sad about it, and I can't get him to put it back on. But it makes no sense whatsoever. But Umbreon and Mistrevious have went out and got stuff for Hal's room. So this is his room. So they've sort of decorated a little bit. Like, they got him some little things here and there, got him some clothes and such, and got it ready for him for whenever he, whatever he needs, whether it's to do homework or maybe to play games or whatever. They've got it covered. And it's probably a much bigger, better improvement than what it was. And Mystery Fist is walking again. She started walking lately, and I'm really confused because she had been flying everywhere. But now she's walking. I'm like, wait. She needs the feed again! I just had her drink from Umbreon not too long ago, but his mood lets off. Because I did a few things real quick because their, their needs were getting a little low. So, but I feel like it wasn't that long ago that I just don't think Umbreon's plasma satisfies her very well or something. I don't know what it is. Something is not right. But I'm gonna let her eat a plasma fruit before I forget and she ends up dying. So let's not- well, I mean, I don't- can, can they die from lack of blood? I don't know. I've never had a vampire actually go long enough to, um, like, not drinking-wise. So, I don't know if that's a thing that can happen, but, uh, oh, I was, I was, I was gonna make you do this since you were here. Um, awkward. And there's a poor line, which appears to be fine. Oh, she was eating human food. What? No! <laughs> Go away, Dante. So, I, I guess she was eating human food. Maybe that's why she got sick. So, we're, so we're gonna lecture her on that. I don't think she cares. I don't remember what Perloin's traits are. If she's the stubborn trait, or spoiled. Spoiled, I think, makes them not listen to training as well. So there's that. But um, one thing is, is the fact that I haven't been playing them for a whole day, I hadn't got them working on the stuff that they need for work, which is a problem. So, I'm gonna get him to real quickly read this. Mistrevious, I don't think, is gonna have enough time at all, but I'm gonna get her to work on her... Why? Are you sick? You don't have a withered stomach, so why were you thinking about food and getting sick? Is anyone else sick? <laughs> Espion, no! I'm sorry. I have work later. In like four hours. Which Mr. Davis probably has work in like four minutes. So, there's that. She's gotta go to work. Because I have, I'm going to let her go to work, <laughs> but because I have a certain mod in installed and it doesn't look like she's showing an illness, I'm going to check something because I have whiskey, risky, I can't say this together, risky woohoo installed. And I'm just going to be careful, just, just check, just in case. Because I thought I seen her do it once before, before I started back recording. But I'm not entirely sure. But I don't- The thing is, is I was gonna say that I was going to Espeon's house next, but- IF BY CHANCE anything has happened, I don't- I don't want to-
No, you're going to work it. Okay. So she is pregnant. All right. Um so that might change my plans a little bit. Um I'm ruined. <laughs> So, it, uh, because I want to be able to name the kid, I was thinking she was acting funny. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy crap. So, um, he looked like he slightly frowned, but at the same time he looked slightly Is that why she was getting hungry so quick? Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna have her go to work though. She's only in like this first trimester, so I'm gonna be back at this house again because I want to be able to name the kid and such, so it sounds like baby music is playing. What do y'all have on this thing? What the heck is going on? It's like they Okay, last resist, no one wanted to play with me. I just climbed around on my own. If it happens again, what should I do? Ask the other kids if you're enjoying it. Okay, so... Um, well, there has been a lot to happen in this episode, quite a bit. We had the family come over and see where Umbreon is now staying at, so they got to sort of see where he's at and such. And... That is baby music. How ironic! Who started playing this? Which one of you did it? <laughs> and part of Lane's like, huh? <laughs> but, um. So. Yeah, anyway, the family was over. They got to see the house. They got to talk to Mistrevis some more. We talked to Mistrevis and Ruby about Hal moving in. They both were okay with the idea. So now Hal is in here, and it looks like Hal's going to be getting a little half-brother or sister. So I'll see you in the next one, where Umbreon and Mistrevis are going to have a kid. So, if you've enjoyed this episode, please hit that lovely like button and subscribe to see more of the Sims 4 Eevee family. Um, this baby music is so ironic right now. Uh, I will have links in the description below to the Sims 4 EV Family series as well as other of my Sims 4 series. Halisic. Great. <laughs> I will also have information to my Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram info down there as well. If, <laughs> if you're excited about the new addition to the family, please let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe if you're not so you can see that new addition to the family and thank you so much for watching see you in the next one <laughs> bye bye